Not a common phrase to hear in Uruguay. Yet something usual for Ahmed. He repeats it every day. After washing himself, he is ready to face Mecca, Islam's holiest city, and pray. This routine has been part of his life for the last three years. Por trabajo fui a Emiratos Árabes, este, y ahí vi la sociedad como era, me gustó. Each Friday at noon, he gathers with his brothers in faith at the Islamic Center run by the Egyptian Embassy. Sheikh Samir Salim is in charge of the place. In Montevideo, hay tres centros islámicos. El centro antiguo, el como el grande, el conocido. El famoso es el centro islámico egipcio, es el centro. Hay otros dos centros islámicos eh, en los que los musulmanes se reúnen en el viernes especialmente. However, the largest Muslim communities in Uruguay are found somewhere else. Uruguay on one side, Brazil on the other. This street divides the two countries, but it is in the middle of one single city called Tui. Apart from Rivera, also at the border but to the north, there is no place in the country that hosts so many Muslims. They add up to approximately 350 people, although most of them live on the Brazilian side. In Chui, most Muslims are immigrants from Palestine. That is the case of Bashar, who arrived in Uruguay 25 years ago. I a friend Borders seem to be an attractive option. It's part of the way uh, nomadic tribes have lived all their lives. It's part of their um, DNA, right? We could say selling and buying goods and also trying to take opportunity of uh, the, uh, for example, political or economic upheavals in both countries. Still, far away in Montevideo, Tens of Uruguayans have decided to change their names and live in harmony with the precepts of Islam. So did Ahmed. I was practicing and learning Islam, and understanding and liking me. Its form, not only its form of religious, which is important, its form of spiritual, but also its form of life, right? In which I share it with my family, to which my mother, for example, who is a person of the book, we are very well together, without any problem. Before the sun sets, he praises Allah for the third time today. After 10 minutes, he is almost finished and will not pray anymore for the next two hours.